Hi everybody, welcome to EcoDriver. My name is Helmut and I show you how efficient modern cars can be driven. This time we do an electric range test with the Ford Cougar slash Escape. This car weighs 1,844 kilograms, 4,057 pounds. We have fully charged the battery. The car indicates a range of 49 kilometers here. WLTB states 56 kilometers of electric range and the EPA rating gives 37 miles. But with this 14.4 kilowatt hour battery, I think we easily should beat 70 kilometers, 43 miles without being too optimistic. I show you the loop that I'm doing. It's basically between two cities with speeds up to 100 kilometers an hour, uh, 62 miles an hour and some city traffic. I keep the camera on for the first lap for you to get an idea of how to drive to get maximum range out of it and also to see whether it's comparable to where you are driving. first lap is finished. You see here that 4.1 kilometers were done by the petrol engine. I was a bit surprised that on the slight uphill uh, the petrol engine kicked in and it took quite a while for it to turn off. 
um, just take those 4.1 kilometers, 2.5 miles off the overall distance. On this lap, the petrol engine did not start, as I was a bit more careful with my right foot on this little hill to avoid that. We have now 33 kilometers covered electrically, and the range still shows 41 kilometers, so we are well on the way to over 70 kilometers of overall range. Now we have 51 kilometers covered and the remaining range of 29. I'm not sure whether we can reach 80 kilometers. I know that Ford's sport computer is not the most precise. Now 73.5 kilometers with 13 kilometers left. I think that's nothing to complain about. You see here, if I lift the foot of the accelerator, a little bit of regen is active, not very strong, but I can feel it. And as you may know, I prefer coasting, as this is the most efficient way of driving an electric vehicle. Now the petrol engine kicked in and we have 78.6 kilometers of electric distance, or 48.5 miles. There are still 4 kilometers of range shown, but as the engine started now, we take this as the final value. Well, exceeding the WLTP and EPA distances for electric range by that margin shows the difference um, the driver can make, especially with electric vehicles, where due to the efficiency of the drivetrain, external impacts such as weather, temperature, loading, or the driving style have a much stronger effect on the consumption. The car showed 12 kilowatt-hours per 100 kilometers in electric mode, as, as it's shown here. That's a pretty good consumption for a vehicle like that, and it correlates with my feeling about this trip. After this range test, I have done a fuel economy test with an empty battery uh, on the eco travel loop. You can find this video here. And I think these results might raise an eyebrow or two as well. If you like this channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any new test. Thanks for watching, take care and see you soon.